gentlemen, welcome to Monday Night Raw. We are just one week removed from Night of Champions, where every asterisk championship was on the line, and we had three defenses, three changes. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome to... Come on, Samson, give it to me. Amherst, Massachusetts. Hey, you. Actually, where's my belt? Did you find it? Don't talk to me like that. <gasps> Don't do that. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the, what the fuck, man? What the fuck? It's, uh, last place I had him in, it was in here. Where is it? Oh, yeah, it was, it, was, it was right over here. Right there. Next to this briefcase. This briefcase? Yeah, it was, it was next to this briefcase. This one? Yeah. This one? This briefcase? No, put, the, put that down. Put that Shh. down! God. <laughs> so that was your briefcase? No. What? No, it was, and maybe it's over here in my bag. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> I'll look over here. Hold on. What? Is it here? I mean, sometimes you put your bag over here. No. Okay. Maybe, maybe, right. maybe Stephanie knows where it is. Maybe. Okay. Hey, hey, is that Andrade down there? Hold on. Back. Uh, 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 yeah. Hi. Right. Did you put it in this box? Uh, maybe. Did I leave it behind this thing? Get down. <laughs> I don't want to. Okay. M maybe Stephanie knows where it's too. Stephanie. Boss. Oh! Oh! Oh God! Okay, oh. no, sorry, sorry, oh, sorry, no, sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> oh. Okay. All right. Hmm. Does Andrade know? Why are we on SmackDown? Do they have the TVs in the wrong place? I think so. Yeah. Well, maybe I left it over in catering. Great. First up tonight, we have got Baron Corbin versus No Way Jose. Oh, went for a wide, wide hook. Why right hook? I can't even speak. Also, I didn't introduce us. Astra and Plastic. Sup? As usual, here on commentary for what is set to be hopefully a pretty good raw after uh, after some. I almost said SummerSlam. Night of Champions. We're Night. building up to SummerSlam. Champions, you're doing okay here. No way, Jose is on Raw. You haven't even you haven't even touched on that fact. Uh, yeah, I haven't. I'm just I've just completely glazed, glazed over it. Now he has showed up before in the. Uh, one of the, I want to say, Colossal Championship Battle Royals a few months ago. I don't remember. He shown up here and there and then got absolutely destroyed. He had a good running on the throwdown, though, did he not? Against Dexter Loomis, oh. if I'm not mistaken? Oh, yep. Actually, he put on a very good performance against Loomis back in one of the throwdowns. Early on, he gave Loomis a run for his money back in the beginning before when he was undefeated. Undefeated. But anyway, that's besides the point. What else have we got going on tonight, Plastic? You're asking me like I know? Ah, well, I mean, I don't know. You might have some insight. That was a beautiful Falcon Arrow from uh, No Way Jose, by the way. Speaking of beautiful from No Way Jose, look. Oh, my God. Look at that big boot. No Way Jose isn't able to get anything on the go here so far. As soon as he tries, Corbin just takes him right back down. Yeah. Holy cow. <laughs> just stomping in the back of the head. This poor guy just wanted a shot. Wanted to do something here. I'm watching his hair. It looks like he's underwater at times. I don't know how he does that. Uh, it's but. called... I don't even know what. The Magic of Disney? Are we allowed to say that? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Did I just incur a lawsuit? Beautiful belly-to-belly -belly suplex there from Jose. As now it's time for him to turn the offense Oh, around. look at him. The Look at him! Barong. And Corbin is just is just writhing in pain in this bear hug. Yeah. Clutching on to No Way Jose like it's the end of the world. Keep in mind, this man is like six and a half feet tall. Dare I say it was the end of days? Oh, God. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Um, the only thing more hated than that comment is Baron Corbin. Wow! That, that's a little bit uncalled for, but Baron Corbin has been doing very good so far. Maybe this match here will help him get back on track? Uh, maybe. And he's calling for something here. Big clothesline or something. Oh! 
But Jose is ready for it. Quick jab and an elbow to the side of the head and a scoop slam. Off the ropes and a leg drop. Beautiful, beautiful work from Jose. Showing he's got some skills. He got something. He wants the crowd on his side here now, too. He's, you know, he hasn't been seen a lot. Whoa! Look at that. Beautiful. He caught him with a European uppercut and then a vicious clothesline taking him down. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Huh. Putting in the work now. Baron Corbin has had a bit of a rough patch in the last, uh, uh, I'm going to say his last three or four matches have all been losses. And he's just trying to figure his way out around it. That looked like a Coloss Bomb to me. That was very similar to it, but not enough to take down Baron Corbin. Maybe, maybe No Way Jose has been eating his supplements. It seems... It, it seems he's, he's definitely bought into the Colossal Supplement train. However, nowhere near oh. any sort of sponsorship from Jinder just yet. He, I guess maybe if he gets a victory over Corbin here tonight, it could work into something for him. Well, I mean, if you look at it here, he had a really good showing against Dexter Loomis. You know, that was that was great. Dexter Loomis has went on to do great things. You know, he's not champion anymore, but he's done great things. And now against Baron Corbin, he's still doing just as good. No. Absolutely. Big shoulder tackle from Corbin. Oh. Went for an Irish whip, reversed by Jose. Big reversal then from Corbin. Irish whip into the ropes. Oh God, they just bump into each other. They do that often. They do that quite often. Big reversal though from No Way Jose. Oh, into the top wrist lock there. I'm not sure what Jose was going for. He just grabbed a hold. It's what you do if you don't know what to do. You just grab a freaking hold. That's absolutely uh -oh. it. But I think it might just be the end of days for no way. What was it? Oh, I just like that one. Congratulations to Baron Corbin. It's good for him to pick up a victory here. No way Jose actually looked quite good in that matchup there you saw that beautiful variation of like the Colossus bomb I don't know half what Nelson he wants to call it bomb half Nelson side I don't know something, something. but you got to see finally a good replay um, <laughs> of someone's finisher yeah and we got two and we got two and here we go some punches to the gut and I believe that turned into the end of days there it is my god the replay team are on point tonight Holy this never God. happens count your blessings yeah, don't get used to it because they, we, they will mess up for sure. But congratulations to Baron Corbin for getting a rather impressive victory here on Raw. Absolutely. Coming up next, we've got Keith Lee taking on Karrion Cross. Keith Lee carrying Cross in the ring. Cross just standing there. As Lee just sits in the corner. Oh my! I was about to comment on the size discrepancy here between these two. Keith Lee is a big boy, but Karrion Cross seems to tower over him right now. So I think Keith Lee might have been a little bit intimidated first time coming out since he lost his Intercontinental Championship to uh, Pete Dunne. Absolutely. A very, uh, a very close victory as well for Pete Dunne, so that's got to be burning in the back of Keith Lee's mind. That Oh, Cross is back to his feet and went for a basement drop kick, but a roll out of the way from Lee, and now some kicks to, to the legs. But anyway, that's got to be um, the loss. That loss to Pete Dunne has got to be weighing on the mind of Keith Lee. However, keep in mind, he does have that rematch clause. He did defend his championship. A couple of times so he does have the ability to get a rematch should he choose at any point in time that's good because Keith Lee you know he, he didn't have the belt for long but he had it for a little while there as he went for a leaping elbow drop rebounding off of the ropes there but he had the belt for a little while had a few or just a couple open challenges and then unfortunately lost it at night of champions just last week Cross to the top rope, diving body. God. Oh my god, I don't even know what that was. I'm not sure if Cross does either as he steps back from a grapple from Keith Lee and then eats a shoulder tackle and goes right back down to the mat. A punt kick to the hip. 
Keep him Cross down. There you go. Trying to keep him down on the mat here. You got to be intimidated by Cross. He's a terrifying individual. Yeah, absolutely. Now I just want to point out here, we had uh, the King's Cross. Both of them in action here tonight. Baron Corbin picked up the victory earlier. Let's see if... Let's see if Karrion Cross is able to do the same. Absolutely. Now, is that team still a thing? That team is definitely still a thing. However, it doesn't seem like it, as neither of them accompanied the other to the ring. Oh, Whoa! my God! Ooh, threw him up, falling face first on the ropes! I... Wow. I, I think he might be in a bit of pain after that. But just the impact of the ropes. Oh, God. Hitting his face the entire way. Keith Lee with the moonsault off the top rope. Oh, and he hit it to the outside. What did Keith? That's a that's a long That is a really long way. Is he going to do it? No. Mm. He, he he decides not to. He's Why, smarter than enough. that. And now Cross goes in for a big clothesline but Lee just eats it. Absolutely. He took it. Oh. Oh, there we go. Oh, I think that might have been what he tried to do. A nice exploder suplex from Cross. And calling for something here. Dive, oh, leaping elbow drop. And a shoulder tackle from Keith Lee. Uh, okay. Karen Cross. Oh, massive gorilla chops from Keith Lee. I I'm a little bit worried about Karen Cross here right now. I am as well. This has been a truly dominant uh -oh. match from Keith Lee. Spirit Bomb just for folding him in half. My God, Keith Lee just absolutely dismantled Karen Cross. That is a fantastic thing for us to see there as he's trying to get his mojo back, trying to get his Intercontinental Championship back. Congratulations to Keith Lee. It's good to see that Pete Dunne get. Didn't get too much in your head. No, nope, absolutely. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there you see that massive spirit bomb literally folding across in half and the three count. As Keith Lee is once again limitless. Bask in his glory, folks. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys Thursday for SmackDown Live.